Okay, let's uh, uh, one more. Gina. Hi, my name is Gina Tallarino. I live in Damascus, unfortunately. Um, Mayor Spinnett has been elected by the majority of Damascus community voters. He has been entrusted to lead honestly, listen intently, and translate what he hears into a vote for the people. He takes his job seriously and has been traveling through our town, meeting and greeting people, listening to their concerns and challenges, and reassuring them that he is doing everything he can for us. You guys are tying his hands behind his back constantly. Interestingly, he has been doing this since before, since he was elected, not just at election time. Showing his dedication to this town and its people by using his energy, money, and personal time to give us, the people, a voice. Your plan to restrict communication between the city manager and the mayor, who has been entrusted by the people of Damascus, is ridiculous, divisive, and underhanded. Like most other things you propose in your self-serving, hostile way, how are you going to get anything done? How is that going to help Damascus? I say fire this inadequate city manager. Hire someone who is willing to work with the mayor for the good of the people, no matter who the mayor is, no matter if he has differing opinions or not. We need, we need, honor, we need leadership. We don't need this Chicago-style corruption. Right. We need leaders and staff with helpful ideas, transparent agendas, and honest actions. I'd like you to know that the people of Damascus are not as stupid as you would like us to be. We see the group of you for what you are. Lying, cheating tricksters who are trying to further your own personal agendas, and it's sad. All right. With the exception of Mayor Bennett, I think we might need all new staff at this city hall. Conspiring among yourselves? To falsely accuse City Spinnett of taking pictures of documents that should have been kept private and secure anyway? As you know, she has been exonerated, of course. <laughs> Whose job was that to keep those documents private? Another internal failure. Who is, it, who is to say who else might conspire, uh, who else you might conspire against? Anyone with opposing opinions? Mm -hmm. Damascus, better watch out for yourselves. The city councilors are not. The idea of demanding Cindy Bennett's personal cell phone is deplorable. Disgusting. You people are not a judge and jury, and I'm sickened by the fact that you have the goal to ask. You are the ones with numerous secret meetings, your own ridiculous sham of a newspaper, and miraculously, none of your 13 election signs have been stolen out of the yards of the people that you do into supporting. <laughs> by the way, we are disgusted by the Sunrise Times, the newspaper that uses the veil of community news to personally attack the mayor, his wife, and apparently all of us that support them. These hateful columns of disgraceful, deceitful lies do not reflect most people in this community or how we feel about the mayor. It is slanderous, much of it erroneous, and all of it offensive. I encourage you who contribute to really ask yourself if that's what you want to be affiliated with. Damascus, wake up, stand up. Don't allow this corruption to shape your town. Thank you.